Hey, welcome to another one on the Always Game for Life podcast, where we come together, share our stories, connect, and have a few laughs. We are fully with this wow energy here, and I have a great episode for you. Uh, I just thought I would come on and give you some content uh, while waiting till I uh, get things figured out with technical difficulties. Um, not going to get into it with you guys, and that's fine. But uh, I will return, and we will have video. That is a promise. Oh, yeah. So, in the meantime, I love you guys. appreciate you guys. Let's get on with it. Let's get it on. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Yes, it's been a wild ride, and um, I can't get into all the details, but we will be back with picture soon. (laughs) That's a promise. My but meanwhile, goodness. you can enjoy our lovely voices. Well, you know, life happens. We just got to oh, yeah. work through it. And, and that's going. that wow energy, man. Yeah, you is. know, you, you get bounced out, you bounce back <laughs> in, you know. Yep, yep. Yeah, we got to keep that wow energy, that Happy, W-O-W acronym, wow Walk energy. on Wave. Ooh, yeah. Which uh, I, I like to call Walk on Wave, you know, the positive energy wave Positive you know waves, we all man. balance on it and try to keep balance on it and, that's right uh, as humans we lose balance and fall off it's just getting back on it and still walking on it and the reason why i say walk is because you know life is a journey you know let's take our time and enjoy and live life to the best and fullest that we can to our you know abilities so that's right that's walk right. on wave man yeah i mean you think about it um it's how you uh come back from something negative that's what counts right yeah so if you take something's happened to me recently with my whole messed up life yeah, yeah. um you know I've, <laughs> I've learned the wow and and i get tested all the time and the thing is like in the past i, I would have been negative if something happened to me and i would have dwelled on it and it would have just eaten me up because my trauma would have made it all bad but now because the trauma is gone and i have the positive wow energy it's just a matter of thinking about it, mm-hmm. and and a lot of time it's your voice in my head. Come on, <laughs> it's the wow in the now, wow. wow in the now. I hear Mark, you know, and it's like <laughs> okay, I'm back in, and and it's getting all that crud I call it of your negative part of your life history out of the way. It, right. it, not thinking about it anymore. It's not important. You know, it's past. Yeah. And if you can get to that mindset then it's very easy to j- just not even jump, just walk back in, like you say. You know, it is a wave, you know. Yeah, it's like I, I always say, which I, I learned from, you know, a fellow mentor, a friend of mine, you know, the three words. It's uh, feel, think, act, right? Yeah, so if you feel right. good, then you're going to think good, therefore you're going to act out good, That's right. right. That's right. Positive. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and, and, you know, it's about letting go because – You can live now. You can make plans for the near now, live in the near now. But we can't live in the future. We can't live in the past. That's right. That's right. Right. And it's hard to get people at first to come to that realization. Mm -hmm. Oh, but this happened and that. That's the past. Yeah. Like, don't make it important anymore. Um, I mean, yeah, obviously traumatic things have happened to you. I understand the need to want to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. But the moment you let go... And realize that it's actually not important anymore, especially if it's a long time ago. Like, mm-hmm. let it be where it should be there. You, you, you can't change it. Yeah. yeah. And if you can detach yourself emotionally from it and let it go, suddenly that positive energy that's all around us just floods in. Mm-hmm. And the trauma that's associated with that negativity is gone and it doesn't come back it's gone literally if you keep putting positive in it just goes with letting go yeah. it's really hard to explain any other way i don't know it happened to me and i i never thought it would happen to me mm. i wish it could have happened sooner but it happened <laughs> now so <laughs> well you know i believe everything happens for a reason right, right. It, uh, it'll happen when it's meant to happen that's right that's just the way it goes. And, and you know i know when i'm being tested because like driving mm-hmm. everybody listening i mean hey we all have those days when someone cuts us off does something really <laughs> stupid or seems to be in this part of the world they cut you off and then they give you the finger and you haven't done anything wrong that's something that i find a little bit uh, interesting mm-hmm. and you know even six months ago i probably would have responded to that but yeah. i've watched your example of yeah 
That's their problem, not mine. And I'm getting wow. better and better at that, it. And, and it's really <laughs> been an interesting experience because I'm really working on it. Because that's kind of my last big thing is driving. You know, can I make it to work without an incident <laughs> where someone cuts me off or does something stupid? But it, more than that, can I make it to work and not have it, that happen? Or if it does and happen, let it affect or, you or you're upset. It just, yeah, it doesn't yeah. affect me. Yeah. And, and I'm getting better at it. And I'm, I'm telling you, this wow stuff works. It yeah. really works. You just got to find what works yeah, for just you. Just truth of the matter is, that. we don't want to go to our destination angry or no, upset, right? No, I mean, you don't want to go to work upset. No, it just or puts the whole day in the wrong yeah, perspective. Yeah. And, you know, that's when bad things happen. So, you know, negative attracts negative, yeah. positive attracts positive. Um, the more positive you put out, the more you get back. The problem is, as I see it, and maybe you have a different take on this, man, but I think when you have trauma, trauma, drama, you know, uh, and you have that stuff from your past, it kind of makes like a buffer zone that has to be penetrated by the positive and you can't get the positive out or in. It has to go through it. So it's really hard. Right, right. When you, when you clear it out, it's a clear path. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it makes, makes it sense. super easy just to, to be positive. Because everybody's noticed it with me. I talked to a friend I hadn't talked to in a year. And, you know, right away, he's like, wow, you are. And I use the word wow <laughs> again. He's like, wow, you're so different. My God, so positive. What, what are you doing that's different? And I explained it to him. And he was like, I'm going to start trying that. Said, I've been really negative lately. And I said, it's okay, buddy. I've been there. I can get you back. I know what to do. I got the cold cheat notes now. I've done all the research <laughs> and the reading, and I've been doing the work, and I know how to help people. That's what I want to do. I just want to get everybody happy. It's a better world when everyone's happy and getting along. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a forever journey, you know, working on ourselves and you know, yeah. bettering ourselves. I mean, we're, we're never cured. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't you know, say that. No, I just, yeah. that's what I say. It's a, it's yeah. a, ongoing work in you yeah. know it, it, yeah. it's a progressive thing that you'll never be finished with but you can keep it in that circle of i call it my circle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the wow circle or happy <laughs> yeah. circle you know it's easy to pop out but then if you know how to do it you can pop yourself back in right mm -hmm. it gets easier the more you do it it's like anything practice make perfect i i when I first started doing, like, how am I doing this? How am I doing this? And I'd hear your voice going, "No, oh, you do it like this. Come on, come on. Think, think of the wow, think of the happy." And I'd be, like, "Oh yeah, okay." And and as you let go of um, the negativity, it just it's amazing how much easier it gets. Um, uh, I'm trying to educate my ex on that because she's got lots of trauma issues, and and um, and she's she keeps saying, "Oh, how how do you do it?" And I keep explaining, and I think eventually she's starting to understand. Oh. It's different than what I thought. And mm -hmm. I think that's a thing that a lot of people don't realize that it sounds one way, but actually it's another way. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a philosophical change in your mind too. You yeah. Have, and you, also you everybody's, know? you know, their own individual. We're all different. Yeah. So, it's, so it's, what works for me may not work exactly right. for yeah. you, but I can sort of guide yeah. in, in yeah. you know, and I think that's the way that you kind of put the guidelines out, then you make it whatever your situation is for mm -hmm. you. But the big thing is, Making that past stuff, leave it where it is. Yeah. It's not relevant anymore. It doesn't matter what happened to it. Just it, what are you doing right now with your life? Exactly. Make that yeah. relevant now. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll find it's kind of like, oh, wow, everything's happy. <laughs> I do say that word a lot. Sorry about that. I, I don't know why. I just do. But that's kind of how we found it, I think. So No, when it comes to you know, bettering ourselves and positivity, no apologies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I've been educating Mark on a lot of the history stuff. It is very intense and, and there's very, a lot of negativity. Yeah. But what you end up doing is you end up appreciating how you live now a lot more. Mm -hmm. Gives you that broader perspective, right? Oh, absolutely. And I think if you look at your own life like that, if you can sort of think back, okay, this happened, this happened, this happened. Okay, but... That, you know, I was, I was a young child. I did, I was kind of helpless. And this is in my case, you know, is it relevant to today? Not really. I'm a grown person. I don't have to let that control me mm -hmm. anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And then, and, and history's kind of like that too. You sort of look at that and you go, well, okay, that was then, you know, and, and we can change it. It doesn't have to be like that anymore. Mm -hmm. And, and it's similar with your life. It's, it's putting a different perspective on things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Knowing yeah. what works, what doesn't work. That's right. Yeah. 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 
So yeah. But yeah, I mean, we haven't been out birding for a while, guys. It's um, it's the summertime and um, everything's nesting and it's hot out yeah. and lots of mosquitoes. And it's kind of like I've done all that when I was younger. So when we get to fall mm-hmm. and hawk season, yeah, it's going to change. And the last one we went to, let me tell you. Um, Ooh, it was it was, was very a, interesting. That was a good test of the and wow my, factor. Yeah, <laughs> and my son with me and oh everything. It was God. wonderful. I mean, we had a good time. We and, saw the bird, uh, but we also saw people that are very damaged, and it was like, hmm, that's unfortunate. Well, yeah. I mean, not so much that too, but um, oh, it was just rough. Like I, I fell, <laughs> I took a tumble. Oh man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I felt uh, bad about that. The crazy oh. part was. It, it was right before the bird. Yeah, and you've picked up on the energy of some of the people there that I didn't really want to talk to. Yeah, fair enough. And, I mean, no, and we... it was kind of it was kind of like really unfortunate. Had we been there with just the bird, it would have been a wonderful spiritual experience because it's an indigo bunting. Look it up online. I mean, they are just spectacular. Oh, incredible. I, I call them indigo bunting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Literally, wow. Yeah. Um, so the bird wasn't the problem. Unfortunately, it was the mix of people. There were nice people there, but there was also mm-hmm. some people there just kind of like, I don't know, there's something not right about it. Yeah. <laughs> it it kind of soured the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, it didn't help with me, too, that, uh, yeah. it, you know, my anxiety, right? There was all, I mean, I, I didn't realize when it comes to the chase. Oh, you get um, lots of people. There's now. a lot of people, yeah. right? And the old days, anxiety. it wasn't like that. The old days, it would be the core five people. Mm-hmm. Now you get 50 to 100 people, no problem. So mixed with my anxiety was yeah. um, when I fell. Uh, I mean, luckily, I do have a strange tolerance to pain, so I just kind of went down up. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of bounced back up. By the time I turned around, I'm like, okay, I heard scream. I heard, what happened? And I tore my leg, my, my oh, hand, yeah. my elbow bleeding. pretty yeah. good. Yeah, but, I yeah. mean, I just, you know, kept going. And, and uh, you know, my poor son. Oh, um, yeah. You know, he's that. very. Attentive. Yes. And very caring and very, yeah. you know, on that spot. And he's a nice guy. He's a good kid. Amazing kid. I, I couldn't be yeah. happier to. Uh, he should go. The young first, man he's grown He should go into first aid or something. He's just a natural. Like, the way yeah. he was looking <laughs> after you, I was like, wow, he doesn't have any training. And he's got it kind of right, oh, yeah. on, the, right on the nuggets, you know. Oh, he was just right there. Um, so, yeah. But, of course, again, I. I'm a weird one. I, I went down, got up faster than he can. And he was just like, you okay, you okay. And meanwhile, I'm already walking towards where we're going. By the time I, <laughs> like we were going down a steep hill. Okay. Yeah. And by the time I spun around, cause I was kind of, I'm usually the one who falls. Right. So I, by the time I turned around, Mark's already walking towards me going, uh, what just happened? Dude? Yeah. Okay. You're all right. I'm seeing blood. I'm like, you okay. <laughs> like what, what's going on here, man? And he's like, oh, no, it's okay. I'm shaking off. It's okay. Man. You know? <laughs> Because and I, I and remember I said to you I said well okay I guess that's your turn because normally I'm the one who has that issue I you know I usually am the mm-hmm. one who falls I've kind of got bad ankles and I end up always tripping on anything yeah. oh it's terrible and then unfortunately um, you know I I didn't even get the pleasure of seeing it in the bird but um, oh, you know it was okay you know, I'm, I'm Nick good saw it. Nick I'm, saw it in yeah, the scope and I'm that, absolutely yeah. glad he did for yeah. sure but you know I'm good yeah. with it and uh, I remember walking back up the hill. And uh, I went to go get the car, you know, and, um, yeah, I just had to get back in my circle again, right? I just went, yep, yeah, yeah, I'm bleeding, this happened, I'm time good. Time you drove you away, <laughs> you were totally back in your circle, yeah. and you, you applied yeah. the methodology, and it worked. And, yeah. I mean, that's a testament to how much this works, because you had a fall, you had anxiety attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you missed the bird that we went and drove there for, and, and, and yet... <laughs> Boom, you're right back to it, you know. Yeah, I just, you know, so. again, like I just took that walk on my own. Uh, my son stayed with you. Which was really trying. Yeah, that was nice of him to do that. I mean, he was worried about you, but I told mm. him he'd be okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I just walked towards the car and just, uh, yep, that happened. Um, it's a beautiful day and uh, I'm good. I'm good. You know, yeah, I yeah, the car, yeah. my son's seen it. I'm happy <laughs> for that. And I just kept on. Going through the positive as I'm walking, like, right. oh, my son's seen it. Oh, look, I'm walking. I'm good. I'm not as hurt as I could yeah, have been. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's it's right. It's a beautiful day. That's the sun's right. out, blue that's sky. Right. We so met just, some nice people, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's absolutely. Just, there's just a couple of negative Nellies there that kind of wrecked it for me. But, uh, you know, it, it, yeah. Part of life. Part yeah. of life, yeah. man, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. you, you find those people everywhere, and there's nothing you can do about it. But, yeah. 
Yeah, for me, it was just most. Um, but, I think most is the, the group. It was just. Oh, I just fair have anxiety enough. with, yeah, with yeah. lots of no, people. No, no, that's okay. I, <laughs> I'm I'm okay with it. I'm used to that. I, yeah. I mean, that's why I wonder. I don't chase anymore is because I like to be one on one with the, the natural right. world. And right. when you go to a chase bird like mm-hmm. that, it, you'll get tons of people. Yeah, which is fine. But if you're not into that, it can be overwhelming. Oh, for sure. I mean, I'm yeah. trying to you know wrestle with that because I'm like you know the way it works for me um, on on one level. It's like as I'm standing there, it, it's almost like I was hearing every conversation I want. So oh, like yeah. all this no- noise. Yes. And then, you know, I'm trying to focus right. to find the bird at the same right. time. So, I'm, it, you know, I, I didn't end so, up finding it because I, I just couldn't. I hear all the conversations too. And what I try mm-hmm. to do, but I've been doing this for years, is I just kind of turn that off and mm-hmm. turn on the sound I'm listening to. Like the birds, the bird was I'm singing. I'm working on it. I'm getting like the bird yeah. was singing. So yeah. I just kind of went, oh, I hear it. Okay. So I just turned the people volume off and the bird volume up. Right. Still couldn't really find it. And the problem was, um, you know, your son just asked for simple directions and the person that gave us directions wasn't exactly a very friendly yeah. person. And that turned I wasn't off. aware of that, but. I'm really glad I mean, you weren't. It I'm glad my a, son It would have is... been a bad scene, but it just turned me off. It's just like, mm-hmm. holy cow, you know, like, yeah. why can't you just be pleasant? Yeah. We're all enjoying the same thing, but you mm-hmm. get people like that. There's nothing you can do about it. And that's why if we found that on our own, it'd be so much better. And that's why when we get to uh, a month from now, mm-hmm. we start hawk watching. And that's our yeah, thing. Yeah, sounds and, interesting. And nobody, I... nobody does that, at, but me and the core group of our, our friends. Yeah. So we don't bump into anybody. Yeah, it definitely sounds interesting. It'll just uh, be the, to go group. in the autumn. I mean, oh, I never done it, right? I did spring. Spring is different <laughs> than fall. Fall yeah. is much, much more, um, much higher numbers, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. more challenging because you got all the different plumages, and you get all the other stuff flying over. And I, it's my favorite, actually. I. I could do it every day. I have done it every day. I used to take time off and I just go every single day and you never know what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. And when you get the timing right, when you get a big push, it is unbelievable. You cannot believe that much stuff is moving overhead on one day. Yeah. We take the data, we crunch it in the Excel. That's where I do. I write it down. I put in Excel and it's just oh, like, wow. holy mackerel, we had 400 birds on that day. And then you think about it, yeah, that felt like 400 birds because you couldn't keep up. <laughs> wow. You know, other days you might get 50 or 20 or 100 or whatever, but then you get these push days and it's just unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and you want to be out enough to hit it because it's never going to happen on a Saturday when you can't get that one day <laughs> off a week, right? It's right. going to be on a Monday or a Wednesday. So you have to go every <laughs> single day until you're there on that day. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, and it is, like last year it happened on a Saturday. It just happened to be a Saturday. And uh, that was unbelievable because it, it wasn't a great hawk migration last year. I don't know if the fires had something to do with that or uh, the weather. Oh, yeah. You have to have a lot of circumstances at work, like hot weather mm-hmm. um, here maybe a bit of cooler weather up north and it pushes them down and um but anyway yeah it it uh it's so much fun because you you end up seeing all these different birds of prey and where we go they fly overhead we get pictures and and um I'm, I'm, i'd love to put a like a, a hawk monitoring station there but it, it's a hard thing to do to put it part of a network in North America. You have to do it for many, 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 many years before they'll uh, they'll look at you. I don't know why, but they, that's just sort of the methodology they use. But we're really, really blessed. I mean, a lot of these types of places are not ten minutes from your house, right? right. Which it is for us, literally. Yeah. Time I, it out in the car. We can be at our spot ten to fifteen <laughs> minutes. Most places like that, they're an hour or two drive. So right. it's pretty sweet, you know. Um, it's my favorite now. I, I've always had, um, with the bird thing, I've always had the interest to pick a group and get to learn it intimately, like really go into it, just learn everything about it. Yeah. And raptors, um, there's not a huge number of them here for species, but there's they're really interesting in what they do. And it's more about when they move, how they move. I don't know, I just find them really fun. And, you know, they float. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can't do that. So it's like, damn, wish I could do that. You know, <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. 
Um, yeah. So yeah, that's going to be fun for you, and and all those fall plumages are going to going to yeah. test your patience because I know when uh, I started, uh, it was like these all look the same. How in God's name do you know? But over time, you learn. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, that's the difference. That's the, there's these little subtle things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I love it, and a lot of it's just call notes. You, oh, okay. learn, you learn what they sound like, and then you know. Right. And and for those of you out there that don't know what I'm talking about. They're little chip notes. They're just like little these type of things, and I know what they all are because <laughs> I've been doing it so damn long. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. it's fun. It challenges your brain. It's a, it. It's kind of like having a virtual reality game. That's life. Oh yeah. So you've got all this stuff you need to know. It's all random, but you have to know it in the moment. You can't just pull out a book and go. Oh, what is that? You have to look at it. Sometimes you only get five seconds and you need to know it like snap, snap, snap to be able to focus your brain on what to look at mm-hmm. so you can figure out what you're looking at. And that's the challenge. And I love it. Oh. it, it some people don't like that. I love that. It just it keeps the mind fresh. <laughs> Fair and, enough. Uh, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's an intellectual game, if anything. Right? Fair enough. Everybody has their thing. Like me, I, I, it's pleasure and, and I enjoy learning and going out. Um, Very spiritual. But for me, it's a spiritual yeah. pleasure thing. I, oh, yeah. I love going out in nature and oh, it's so relaxing. I love the photography part. Mm-hmm. I'm really, really enjoying that. Um, yep, that's the next thing for me, um, toy wise. I don't really buy a lot of toys, <laughs> but when I eventually do, uh, it's going to be a new camera. Oh yeah, yeah. The one I'm using is near <laughs> the end, and honestly, guys, it it it's at the point where it's like. Have fun taking the pictures. I'll just spot. <laughs> because, you know, the camera won't focus or the battery oh, dies yeah. and I get this really incredible shot lined up and something goes wrong. And I'm not there to have my wow energy taken out. <laughs> I'm there to have my wow energy wowed up. <laughs> you know, like, what, what, the, what do the British say? Take the jam or jelly out of your donut? Like, that's not what this is about, people. <laughs> and that's what it feels like when your camera doesn't work because it's malfunctioning so you know so anyway yeah mm-hmm. for me that that's uh what it's about so yeah it's going to be fun yeah. uh, you just have to go another month okay. so get all your stuff done now that's what i'm doing because <laughs> yeah. once we get to that season it's kind of like life hold hawk migration <laughs> boom <laughs> and there's yeah. there's people that i i bump into where one of the places i go and they'll see me on the first day and they'll go oh it's hawk season you're back <laughs> <laughs> and they usually come and join me now and they find it really fun because mm-hmm. it's right over their house right mm-hmm. so it's kind of fun yeah yeah that's why i've been trying you know taking the time working on this and um, oh yeah um really took in the time and working on my screenplay still too yeah that's so really cool i love that's that. coming along and I'm, like i say i'm working on the online book and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when i'm ready to launch that we'll let everyone know and they can go learn a lot about birds. yeah oh, my goodness my that's a lot of information god <laughs> You're gonna read. You're gonna read this and go, "Oh my God, man, that's a lot of information," <laughs> and that just floats around, <laughs> man. You know, but you, you know, when you do it as long as I have it, it's just like breathing. Yeah. Oh sure. It's I'm... like anything. You get into something and you know it. You know, like people are into trains and they yeah, know everything yeah. about trains or or cars or you know, it's it's whatever you're into. Right? Yeah, it's absolutely. Like, yeah. 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 So I just. Uh... I just wanted to come on. Give and, an update. Uh, you know, I'm sure the folks update. are wondering, okay, what happened to yeah, Mark? Um, what's going on? It's been a long time. He's going to launch something and nothing happened. Like, yeah. what's going on, Mark? Just more, uh, you know, life obstacles. And, Headaches. of course, like in this. Headaches. Um, Headaches, yeah. Yeah. In this field, you know, it's very touch and go. And you got to be um aware and careful um, of who you do business with and so on and so mm-hmm. forth right mm-hmm. um so yeah you know i just had a bit of a hiccup hiccup and uh yeah i just wanted to come on and uh, apologize i know i i promised that monday 8 a.m there would be video and everything we're gonna um, have that happen i mean we're gonna try absolutely. to do this once or twice a week or whatever and uh, yeah it's coming it's, it's coming. coming yeah certainly um we'll try to do some live stuff and maybe some interactive stuff i love to meet the fans absolutely. I, I, I mean they sound like they're really nice people and they really want to talk to us and you know absolutely yeah that's wonderful we'll definitely yeah. do a live and um 
you know, we can, again, come together and share stories, connect, say hi, just say hi. Um, if you have any questions, you know, I will be able to answer. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it'll be a pleasure. I, 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 you know, I would love it if we could help someone like the live thing get the wow thing down i mean i'm sure they're wondering what is this thing man i mean what are they what are they talking about yeah yeah and, you know and and, and then sometimes it's better to do it in a conversation directly sure sure yeah. and then you leave it with them and then they could get back to us and let us know how it's going i'd love to know that kind of Absolutely. stuff i mean because yeah. it's it's a progressive thing it, it's always happening once you get on that wow thing it's it's never going to stop mm-hmm. but it's if you keep it positive and you you embrace it I mean, I'm living proof. I mean, I, you wouldn't believe where I was last year. Ooh, yeah, no. But now I'm like Mr. Happy. Yeah, yeah. You know, one friend is like, would you get a lobotomy or something? You're so damn happy. <laughs> no, I just discovered this energy, man. It's just this wow energy, man. It's like the best thing ever. Okay, yeah. wow. Really wow. Hey, yeah, really wow. Yeah, you just got to find a way to, to get on that wave and walk and, and yeah. keep, keep your balance the best you can on it, right? That's yeah. right. I mean, you're never going to be on it for long. You're always going to have to pop off and pop back on, unfortunately. It's just the oh, nature, nature of human of life. life. Yeah. But <laughs> once you get down how to get back on, that's right. it's really easy just to continuously be on it. You know, things come along and it'll pop you up yeah. and you pop back on. Whereas before, if you're depressed yeah. and you, you just can't figure anything out because you, know, you just can't do it. We're just trying to give people the, the ability to find a different path so they can at least get back on it easier. Because mm-hmm. I know when I used to suffer from depression, I, I couldn't understand how people could be happy. I mean, I just sit around going, well, my God, it's all crap. Like, well, why are these people yeah. happy? But now I get it, you know. Yeah. So that's why I just want to let people know, you know, like, I've been there, man. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we all have in our way. Um, you know, it's just, it's how we get back up. It's how we we learn from it, grow from it. Right. And, uh, right. Right. you know, carry forward, um, walk that wave, balance. Um, you're Like, again, you're, you're always going to lose balance. There's always uh, life obstacles, whether it's finance, whether it's family, yep. whether it's friends, that's whether right. it's your car, whatever, you know, things happen. And that's, that's it's going to. Um, but, you know, as you come along and you're, you're keeping balance on this wave and you're in this motion... Um, you learn to uh, control those emotions and how you react and how you get back up, right? Mm-hmm. So, That's you know, right. if someone says something or gets you angry, now you react in a proper way where it's not like before where you just boom, right? Oh, yeah. You get and, defensive. And you're you always your working on that too, right? Because <laughs> there's programming as well that's part of that yeah, yeah. trauma. Yeah. and. I was one that was like that, and and it's it's been an interesting experience trying to change that. I mean, it, I've got ways to go, but that's okay. Oh yeah, okay. no, we're forever, that, that's forever okay. going. Yeah. I'm better than where I was, and yeah. that's the thing. It, you're always trying to be better than where you have been. That's the only yeah. time where maybe the past is a tiny bit relevant. You just mm-hmm. you're always pushing yourself forward. Yeah, in a more positive way, and yeah. and um, it, that's all I can say on that. I mean it. it, it I mean, look, Mark, you've been going through a rough time this last couple of weeks. And, you know, hey, you're doing <laughs> okay. Good, you're doing good. okay. That's yeah, right. You know? So, you know, <laughs> yep. we're, we're living it just yeah, like you guys, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, another thing that, uh, I mean, for me, I, I know it's a hard thing, um, is I I basically look at it as a friend, family, it doesn't matter. If you're poison, I, I let go. I, I'm not oh, going to hang out. I'm not going to put myself friends. in that circle. Yeah, toxic friends, unfortunately, right. can Even if really it's family, hold you back. It's hard. Yeah, um, yeah, I've had to deal with that, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just yeah. I just finally, well, not just, but a while back, came to that. Like, you know, if you, yeah. Yeah. you know, treat me in such a way or, or hurt me or, you know, whatever, like, bye. Right? <laughs> like, That's I, right. I don't want that energy. All right? And sometimes, yeah. sometimes you got to do that. Um, I've had and it doesn't do mean you don't love them. It doesn't mean you're, you know, see, well, I'll never see you again. It just means you got things to work out. And I'm, I don't want that energy around me in right. my circle. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I've had to do that with people. I don't have any animosity no, or any negativity. No, 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 no. I just hope they can, 
you know, move forward and get away from where they're at yeah. when I knew them. Because if they're toxic, it, it, it just ends up making your ability to be positive harder. Right. Yeah. And then you get people who are jealous or upset that you're positive and they're not. And then they want to screw with you, even though they're your friends. I've mm -hmm. had people like this in my life. They want to screw with you and make you come down to their level. And it's kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what the, this is not what a friendship is. Yeah. And I had to get rid of all those people. I don't know anyone like that anymore. They're all gone, unfortunately. But, uh, and, and maybe it is fortunate because I've been so bloody happy. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I meet new people. That's the thing, yeah. too. You know, you, 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 you change and you attract new people. And if you're positive, you attract positive. It's so true. Well, negative yeah, attracts I mean, negative, when I was so. down, exactly, negative attract negative. So, you know, I was broken, so I attracted broken. That's yeah, right. I've been there. I know yeah. what you mean. And and it's funny. I look back on it now, and it's like, wow, I can't believe I kind of knew that person because mm -hmm. I must have been really messed up because I'm not that way anymore, and I don't think I would ever even have talk to that person uh, being the way i'm now yeah yeah you wouldn't yeah. have associated like it's just it's funny, especially yeah. now you, you, no yeah so it, there, there's a lot of there's works. a lot of these little um outliers that come with uh the whole positive wow thing you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. um you know there's that that's a big factor is toxic people yeah yeah it's hard especially if you don't have a lot of friends I've certainly been in p positions like that when you're down and stuff. It's hard to meet people, so you don't have a lot of friends, and so you just want to cling on to the friend you have, and whether they're negative or positive, someone to talk to. You know, mm -hmm. I've been in that situation, and and but the problem is, uh, because you're negative and you've attracted negative, they just end up keeping you as a negative person. Mm -hmm. It's when you finally go, whoa, wait a minute, I got to change this somehow, and you have to let them go for mm -hmm. maybe a while or permanent. Depends, it just depends. Then you start changing, you start growing, you get more positive, and then you realize, oh, no, it's just how I'm perceiving things and projecting things. And then suddenly, oh, I'm meeting people. Yeah. You know, if you're positive, you're just, oh, I'm meeting people. Oh, absolutely. It's just funny how that works. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. You can't go jump out of your body and go, oh, okay, that's what's wrong. <laughs> you know, you have to look at it from within looking mm -hmm. out, you know. And, and so it's harder, but there are ways of figuring it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Know? And just, it, you know, just remember it starts with you. That's right. And, yeah. um, you know, I, I feel that you, you just got to keep working on it every day. And I don't mean go hard on anything. But, like, do something once a day that you enjoy or makes you happy. That's right. right. Rather it's, you know, I'm going to write a poem. I'm, I'm going to record a song. I'm going to, you know, like, just once a day. I'm going to work out. What, whatever works for you. You know, That's but right. something that you enjoy. And that will help you lift up like at work what i do is on my breaks i go outside because i love nature yeah yeah and it doesn't take more than two seconds of being outside i might see an eagle fly over or a robin fly by whatever sure ah. <laughs> now i can do the next two hours mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that that's the little game i play i let nature do it for me now everyone has their own way yeah but for me i do that i just kind of zen out decompress Okay, we can do this. Two hours, no problem. Then it's lunchtime. All right, two more hours. Last mm -hmm. break. Woo. Yeah. Out of here. You know, and, and, and you're right. It's the little things add up to a really yeah. big positive thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, because I, I, I don't smoke or anything. I, I mean, years ago I did, but I don't smoke. But all the people who well, are smokers, right? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. you're always outside and you don't smoke. Yeah, I don't need to smoke anymore. I'm just enjoying nature. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't have to you know, go outside just to smoke, right, on my break. I, I can go outside. But go where outside. I work, it's mostly people who smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, Always right? like that where I did too, yeah. It's kind of funny, yeah. you know, like, I, I, I guess it's a habit I got into. Maybe I was doing it subconsciously when I used to smoke. I was outside and I was doing that. And when I quit, it's like, yeah, I don't need to smoke to do this. I, I can <laughs> do this without the cigarette smoke and really enjoy this. Oh, Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. I don't know. It's just funny how that is, you know. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. don't like. It's funny. I have friends uh, at work who smoke, and they're always like, "Oh, is my smoke bothering you?" It's like, eh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not too hung up on that. It's yeah, like, no, yeah, no. I'm, I'm outside. I'm on my yeah. break. Zen. Um, yeah. The other day, um, I was listening to some tunes, and I'm just sitting in the car, have my lunch, and I noticed this eagle soaring, kind of rising up, 
And then he starts doing this maneuvering, and I realize, I don't know, I have binoculars, right? But I realize, oh, he's being dive bombed by a crow. And there was this amazing, like, aerial display going on, this dog <laughs> fight going on. And it kind of went to the music, and it's like, okay, I'm going to be charged for the rest of the day. This is really good. Like, nature is just totally giving me what I need right now. Like, you know, nice. the fuel, of, the positive fuel is like, do 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 Ding. <laughs> it's full. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing was, there's other people sitting there. Not one other person noticed that. I was the only person. I didn't say anything. It's like, ah, it's okay. You know, this is just my little moment of zen. You know, mm -hmm. Mother Nature is just going to say, here you go. The birds are going to let you have your moment. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like I say, it could be something else. Maybe uh, for someone else, it could be a really cool car, you know, fancy car drives by and their day's made or yeah, whatever yeah, it is. You know, it doesn't. Yeah. It, hey, whatever it is. It, it's, yeah, it's for me, it's uh, similar. You know, I, I take my not so little now, thirteen year old daughter, and um, you know, we go on the trail. Yeah, I pack a backpack. We go on the trail, and uh, you know, I take pictures of dragonflies, bumblebees. Oh yeah. Birds, if we, we see them, we did that. That you know, was whatever, fun, right? Just yeah, she's walk the keen. trail, and and she's keen, man. That was cool. And just take it in. Yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, she yeah. saw that barn owl. Oh man, I mean that I made her amazing. month and her year. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, man. I was doing my owl call, which wasn't a barn owl call, and he came in to check it out, and it was so funny because I had a tree sort of right beside me where. I guess right in line with where the owl came from. So I didn't see it. And I thought she said, oh, are you doing a call? Because I was whistling, you know, and it, it's pretty yeah. loud. And I can't really hear sometimes people talking. And then I didn't realize she said, oh, there's an owl. So when I stopped, she goes, no, no, there's an owl. And I peeped around <laughs> the tree and went, oh, wow, barn owl. <laughs> oh, I wish the people here could have seen the smile. It was like, yeah. okay, my year's made. I made a, I made a 13 year old girl really mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I got some uh, some beautiful shots too that day. Um, even with the the tanager, which uh, Ooh, if you yeah, guys, it, if, nice, if yeah. you all want to see it, uh, I'll put it up on the Insta oh, that Instagram. Oh, that was insane! They're normally not that the um, they're normally not that showy. I gotta think the nest was somewhere nearby. It had to have been. I mean, they were that that male <laughs> bird came down and just sat and went. Okay, what what do you want there, buddy? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, what's going on, man? You know? yeah. And I mean, the photos we got were just crazy. I showed those oh. to some people, and they're like, "You got that? Yeah. Whoa! You know, I, like that's pretty nice." You know, I uh, I enjoyed that that whole they're really uh, pretty. hike. Yeah. I mean, even the view alone. Oh yeah! Wow, that, that that's up on uh, Mickey I will Peak. Post, yeah, I'll post picture on Instagram. You can look across to see. Mount Baker. You look down mm -hmm. Sumas Prairie all the way to the U.S. You can look out to. Um, you can see a little bit of Puget Sound and the Strait. Uh, if you look carefully at the optics, you can see like Point Roberts, Boundary Bay. You have to really look for that. Um, and oh, then to incredible. the east, you see like Cham and all the way up the valley. It's just a gorgeous, oh, yeah, gorgeous, incredible. gorgeous spot. Yeah, I loved how Mount Baker was like directly across. We, we used like, to actually wow. hawk watch there. Um, but the problem was it, it was kind of limited to just a small vantage point. I wanted a bigger vista. That's why I like going more top of the mountain where you can see the full 360 that's you're just limited to what's right in front of yeah you. yeah but there's yeah. nothing wrong with it for photography it's no no fabulous. i got some amazing oh, shots yeah 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 and in the spring you get really neat little butterflies that come out um they have orange tips on the wings and they're small and white um they're just gorgeous and uh there's really neat wildflowers that grow there Oh, nice. There's a lot of really neat things on that mountain, actually, mm -hmm. in that area that we were hiking around. Oh, I was really uh, uh, amazed by the uh, dragonfly scene. The, the oh. scarlet, I think? The, it was red. Oh, so. the cardinal. A cardinal. Yeah. yeah, there's different types, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That so was... they're like, they're, they're, they're meadowhawks. So I think that's a cardinal meadowhawk. Okay. So the okay. name is meadowhawk, but I think it... I think that was a cardinal. There's like red faced and um, oh, there's different types. You have to get. Oh, a book. I'm sure. You yeah. got to get a book. Of, but they're called meadowhawks. So yeah. those dragonflies are called meadowhawks. Okay. Okay. And they're bright red. So when you see them, you're thinking a dragonfly that's bright red. Like, oh, it's what incredible. the heck is going on, people? Because you know usually they're blue. Yeah, you usually yeah. see bright blue. I mean, that's the common. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was very amazed. I, I was. Wow, and <laughs> I got nice shots of it too. Yeah, that's it one thing. That's one thing uh, mm. we'll have to do soon is go and um, check out all the different species of dragonflies. We're in that season now. Yeah, that, yeah. Because uh, for me, the bird thing is 
I just leave them be. They're breeding. They got their babies. They're nesting. I don't really want to go and bug them at all. You know, it's kind of like let them do their thing. Mm-hmm. You know? We'll mm-hmm. see them in the fall. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. yeah. When I don't have to get eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we went to uh, DeRoche that one day. Um, God, was that like about a month ago now? Early Probably June, early almost. June yeah. Or something. Yeah, maybe it's about, it's about three or four weeks ago. Anyway, and it wasn't prime mosquito season folks um holy moly you know like i don't use the chemicals at all it just tears apart my skin Mm -hmm. but i'll tell you i could have put off on me that day at any other thing you had like oh my god man just eating me alive just to see one little american red start little tiny warbler and you know after a while it's like okay i hear it i'm good let's get out of here i'm getting eaten alive (laughs) (laughs) just like that Yeah. yeah You know, it's kind of like, eh, we'll, we'll see that in the fall. You know? <laughs> I, I've gone up north where, um, and I've worked, I did bush work for years. So that's why I'm kind of like, eh, meh. <laughs> you know, where, you know, the, the deer flies take a chunk. And you see them flying away with the blood dripping in you. <laughs> you know, they, that kind of thing. The worst was up north, Fort Nelson. I've never seen anything like it, man. Um, man. It had rained. It was... I think it was early July, around this well, maybe around this time of year, but a little earlier. And uh, we were looking for very specific uh, boreal forest birds, mm-hmm. the type of warblers that, that nest there. And um, the sky was black with mosquitoes. Oh, wow, man. And we jumped in the vehicle, and they covered the window and blackened the window. Oh. It was like being in Manitoba, where I've experienced it like that after a rain. It's really bad for bugs there. And, uh, gracious. I mean, I thought to myself, I wonder how much blood I'm losing here today, you know, like, <laughs> cause your arm wasn't just one bite. It was mm. so many. It was one, one humongous red welt after another. Yeah. You know? So yeah. Yeah. And I, when I did, uh, work on the Island, um, we, I don't know, you get used to it, I, I guess, but I used to just get eaten alive. Oh, that reminds me of that one trip we did, um, so I'm not Man, into it. I'm not into summers as much. All you know. those bumblebees in those hives. Oh yeah. Like literally. That's gross. Yeah. 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 There's literal like tornadoes. Yeah. There, I, I've you know, never seen anything like it. Bee tornado. Billions. I mean, you had to see that. We stayed in the car, mind you. Leave it. I we, mean, you couldn't get out of the car. Don't. You'd be you'd be stung. <laughs> I mean, there was more swarms than I've ever seen in my life. They have in that spot. Um, how many? How many bee boxes did we count? I mean, there must have been a hundred or more, right? I think Boy, we, I don't remember I now think exactly. We counted but over a hundred and ten, like hive boxes. Oh, had to have been at least. I mean, I will. There's probably more than that. Anyway, yeah. I'm thinking there had to be yeah. like a million bloody bees there oh, yeah. because you could see the swirls. Yeah, it was incredible. Like you got? Did you get video? I got video. I got. Oh, you should pictures. put that up. You should put that up and let people look at that. <laughs> yeah, now, I got some people will be yeah. freaked out by it, but um, some people will be really in, like just engrossed in it because it's like, oh my god, I can see the swirl, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't have to worry. We didn't get out of the car, and, and we didn't hurt any bees or anything. We're very careful when we no, drove I... in and drove out. I, I I said to Al, I just said, really be careful driving out of here. We don't want to have any of those guys hurt. We mm-hmm. need we need these guys. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's a beautiful thing to see. Oh yeah, but that was great. I wish that that was a natural thing, but I'll take yeah. it any way I can get it with bees. Absolutely. As you know, they're Absolutely. not doing well, and seeing that many was really exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. That I was just wonder if you tagged them, if there was a way you could tag them and track them, how far those bees are actually going to pollinate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, are they traveling huge distances and coming back, or are they just local? I would love that would to know. Be interesting, yeah, yeah. Because I bet you that every flower within ten miles of that place is <laughs> oh, getting pollinated, man. man. Oh, yeah. There's just too many of them. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. It was actually crazy. Yeah, you gotta put that up. That <laughs> that will blow some minds. It blew me away. Yeah, I do want to go back and look at. It, but at the same time, oh, so do I. If I drive there, you know, am I going to hurt any of these damn things? I don't want any of them dying in the car or like getting sucked in the engine or anything like that. You know what I mean? It, 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 it they, they do fly into your car and stuff. Very sure, easily. sure. It's, I, I know it's part of nature, but I just don't want to have anything to hurt the number. I love the fact mm. there's so many there. You know? mm. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I think I think we were parked at a, a decent distance, so 
Oh yeah, no, we you were. Yeah, I mean? no, yeah. we definitely yeah. were. Yeah, no, no, and and like I said, I wasn't getting out. I'm deadly allergic now. I've had too many uh, hornet stings over the years. Ooh. So I I don't have an EpiPen. Probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Last time, it's like, um, there's a grapefruit on my arm. <laughs> God, thank God that wasn't my neck or somewhere where my breathing would have been affected. Because, I mean, it did really trip me out. Mm -hmm. I had to take an antihistamine or something, but um, and it helped a bit. But it was bad. Wow. Yeah, just too many times in the bush. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're bushwhacking, doing your job, and then suddenly, bang, you hit a hornet's nest. It's like, oh, great, there's a hundred stings. Oh, God. Oh, God. The pain. <laughs> the pain. That's happened a few times, and you lose your immunity, right? Mm. So mine's kind of, eh. Yeah. But that is for another time out there. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, I just, uh, I'm just glad that we can do this, and we're going to continue to do this. And I, I want to say... I, I, I thank you and I love you for all the 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 support and the love you guys and, and right on. and also the the uh patience, my goodness. I, I apologize but uh the patience, man, thank you so much. Yeah, he had a good reason, guys. It, it, <laughs> we can, we're not gonna go into it, but he had a good reason why yeah. it kinda went a little off the rails. But we're getting it back on. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be okay. It is all good. Wait till we get the video going again. It's gonna be <laughs> rock up sock up, baby. So, so uh yes i will continue we will we will have great episodes uh in the future oh, uh, sure. you can listen to as always it'll still be on all those platforms um but for you know for the people you guys want to watch it and have a different experience or a different perspective uh there will be and it'll be uh on youtube and probably other ones too i'll probably uh post on Rumble and a few others too for video, but uh, we'll, we'll see when we we're, get we're there. We're gonna try to do a live on location. Yeah, and we'll definitely uh, thing we'll, to, you know, definitely come to, on live and yeah. say hello. And I mean, we'll we'll do some on location ones where we're not here at your place, but we're actually mm -hmm. out in nature again. Because I know people really enjoyed those. When we did yeah, them past, yeah. So. We'll, we'll 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 shake it up a bit. So definitely, it's definitely. coming. It's coming. It's and coming. we'll probably have a few. Uh, you know, be on the lookout. We'll, we'll probably have a few little contests in, you know. Um, oh, that'd be fun. That'll be fun. Ooh, I like that. And, um, yeah, I just, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, so it, what really, really, really helps is to make sure you follow, share, subscribe, rate, review the show. It, it just, it helps the podcast grow and, and uh, helps me bring more and more, you know, great episodes and, and uh, laughs and so I, I appreciate it all and um, yeah as always um, you know all the platforms it's all in the description um, check out the Instagram I will have pictures up there you can see uh, what we've all talked about um, you know the owl and, and the view and etc etc and <laughs> And uh, yeah, so you know all the platforms. And uh, if interested, if you if you want a little uh, souvenir, you know, make sure you check out alwayscameforlifeshop.com. Get yourself a, a cool T-shirt or a hoodie or many yep, things. In I got the really backpack cool and I love it. I use it every day <laughs> at work. I put all my food stuff in. It's wonderful. It's really nice. So, yeah. Right on. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Please do that. It helps them out. <laughs> it helps them out. <laughs> So, yes, once again, I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, as I always say, you know, let's love one another. Be good to each other. Because yep. life is always named for us. So let's be always named for life. All right, till the next one. Peace out, people. Peace and love. And thank you. That's always gay for us. Ooh. We're always gay Love for it. life. That's always gay for us. We're always gay for life. That's always gay for us. We're always gay. Wow. <laughs>